if you're okay with putting this on YouTube, on social media, on my site, on everything else? Yeah. If you had memories that you couldn't tell anybody, or should I say, do you have any memories that you couldn't tell anybody from when you were young? Um, yeah, there is, yeah. Okay, you want to just give it a code name? Uh, okay, A. And you want to say what um, emotions it brings up? Anger, resentment, hatred, venom, rage, self-pity, disgust. Uh, so anger, resentment, yeah. hatred, venom, rage, disgust. What else was there? Um, anxiety, fear, worry. Um, and how old were you then? I was uh, about 17. Okay. And did anything specific happen at age 19 when you started the heroin? Yeah, I was, uh, I was around a friend's house um, uh, and his older brother was smoking heroin and I mean at that point I didn't really want to live, I didn't, I didn't really care for my life, I didn't care what I did what I, um, and uh, yeah he was, he was smoking it and phew, I was quite curious, I was quite inquisitive. I ended up trying some, I felt sick, and then that happened a few more times, uh, three, four times, and eventually I got, I started to get addicted. So even though you felt sick, you still tried a few more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried crack cocaine as well. Tried crack also? Yeah. Okay. And I also had um, learning difficulties when I was younger at school. Mm -hmm. um, and I always thought I was really stupid and I was dumb and I wouldn't be able to learn. And, um, and I think a lot of it was connected to my gut bacteria, my, 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 back, you know, my, my gut flora. Um, and I really had this deep-seated anger and resentment towards my mum, you know, because my mum was quite unwell. And she was always in bed and I always felt that, you know, her bacteria or gut flora or whatever it was, was passed on to me. And I was this kind of confused, spaced out child who didn't really understand what was happening around him. And I felt like that a lot. So I, I didn't feel this attachment to my mother at all, really, to be honest. Um, and then I blamed her a lot for my health. Um, and then no, I now you feel lonely that she's gone. Yeah. No one to blame anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was the worst part of the addiction? Um, of the smoking addiction. All of them. You want to get rid of them all? To my hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sex, the masturbation, the drugs. So what was the worst part? The worst part is just brought to my knees emotionally, um, where I just feel like I can't carry on. I just can't carry on. I just physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally just can't carry on. I'm at that point now where I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a using addict, but I'm clean. And I feel like an absolute mess. Well, you're, 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 you're clean of heroin. You're not clean of addiction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, what are some other bad things about the addiction? Um, I isolate. I don't want to speak to people. I want to avoid. I want to smoke cigarettes. I want to... Um, so you smoke cigarettes now also? Very rarely. 
very rarely. Very rarely. when I'm on my own in London, in in London, then yes, yeah, because I don't uh-huh. know what to do with myself. I still haven't got to that part of my health, I don't know, healthy part where, oh, I cook myself a nice meal and then I'll go to the gym and then I go for a walk or, mm-hmm. you know, go watch a film. I don't, I can't even commute that in my head. Like, it's just, it's like a spaghetti junction up there most of the time in my head. What did it cost you, all these addictions? Pardon? What did it cost you? What did you lose because you have the addictions? What did I lose? Mm-hmm. Um, any bit of peace of mind, money, health, um, energy, uh, relationships. Um, Is that why you lost your girlfriend who you were going to marry? Yeah, potentially, potentially. What does potentially, potentially mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What does potentially mean? I think I lost it due to a lot of factors. One, I wasn't healthy. Two, I was in my head. Three, I kept seeing loads of fears. Four, I didn't know if it was the right thing. I was just confused. Dot com. I was really indecisive. And five, I just felt like I wasn't able to work full time and, and 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 support myself when hurt. I mean, I think I didn't feel man enough. I didn't feel like a man. I didn't. I just felt, you know. I was losing weight a lot. Um, got told I had candida. So there's all this sort of stuff running around in my head all the time. And I just didn't know what to do with it. And, um, I dealt with it the way Hassan deals with things. And that's a void. So you called it off, not her. Yeah, me, I did, yeah. Okay, this addiction is done. What do you want for your life? Pardon? You're done with all your addictions. All gone. Right. Describe right. your life. Oof. Uh, describe my life. It, it would be just amazing. Um, describe it. I'd be really health obsessed for the first time ever in my life, you know, wanting to eat good food. Wanted to drink lots of water, wanted to exercise, wanted to cycle, um, looking after my body, um, doing, you know, really into different kinds of sports and, 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 and fitness activities, um, being on my own and enjoying it, you know, discovering the things that I like um, from, I don't know, just, you know, walking uh, i've discovered that i actually really enjoyed walking recently since the last session i really enjoyed that um, interesting since our last session yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i've been doing a lot a lot of it a lot of it yeah especially in nature um what else uh meeting a really you know at some point later on you know meeting someone really quite suited towards me and how i am and you know, uh, like a, a woman, you know, a healthy sort of woman. Um, <laughs> um, doing yoga, meditation. Um, and, and just peace of mind, peace of mind, a bit of contentment, feeling happy, feeling like one, you know, in myself, just feeling okay in myself, you know, feeling okay in myself. So how do you know you're addicted? Um, in my behaviours, in the way I think, in the way I obsess, in the way I um, compulsively do things, you know, I'll compulsively go on websites, I'll compulsively speak to women, I'll compulsively message them, I'll, I'll tell them everything they want to hear. You know, I'll compulsively or obsessively think about my health and I'll worry myself to death. Think about how I'm going to survive in London. I'm going to work. Just constant, constant, constant all the time. Just um, constant worry. So the constant worry note tells you that you're addicted. Yeah. And also, I just kind of, I do things compulsively. I compulsively speak to women. I'll, um, 
It's just another avoidance, another avoidance of myself. Because when I'm with myself, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. So it's a catch-22. Uh-huh. I suppose it's the loneliness, really. I think that's what I find hard. So what's the driving force behind the addiction? Um, an emptiness in my soul. <laughs> an emptiness in my soul. In your soul or in yourself? In myself. Yeah, in myself. No, my soul is fine. It's in myself, yeah. Hmm, soul is fine. That's a good thing. Okay. Um, so you wake up in the morning and you're always start, or when does it start? What, my head? Well, when you wake up in the morning, what happens? Oof. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, my head's just really loud. It's screaming. It's like, oh, you know, you're not fit enough. You're not strong enough. You're not good enough. You've got to do this today. You've got to get that done. You know, you're not eating right. You need to meditate, you need to readjust for today. Um, it's just constantly like a washing machine from the moment I wake up. And I, I can't, I just don't know how to do it. Sometimes I get so tired just from my own head that um, it, it's unbearable. Yeah. And when did this talk begin, this talk in your head that's unbearable? Uh, it's been like that now for it's been like that for years, Alana. To be honest, I, I would say at least probably even longer than my uh, clean time or my recovery time. I, I would say probably about 50, 20 years. It was a lot like that when I was younger as well, to be honest. Um, but definitely recovery is a lot more. Um, Wait, your recovery was only seven years ago. Yeah. So seven how did and seven and a half? So, oh, but you're saying this was at least twenty years ago that you started having these things in your head. Um, yeah, my head's always been quite loud, and I've always done things to 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 run away from it. You know, masturbation, porn, food, smoking, uh, isolating, whatever it be to just kind of avoid that 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 incessant thinking. Okay, what good things came from the addictions? Excitement, a thrill, adrenaline, escapism, avoidance, not having to deal with reality. Um, In my own little world, fantasy. What was the last thing? Fantasy. Okay. Last week we did a bunch of memories which had to do with your childhood. When you go back to those memories now, how strongly do you feel it? Starting from a minus 10? Till a 10. Minus 10 means really, really bad. 10 means feel really, really good. Uh, um. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. Put that together with everything else. Everything that we talked about today. The escapism, the voidism, the not wanting to be in your own body, that loud voice that's constantly in your head that's telling you how you're not worth it, how you can't do this or you have to do this and you have to do this and you can't deal with it. 
the constant going after women, the compulsiveness about it, the all the things that you lost from the, how do you say, from the all the addictions, all addictions starting from age seven when you first figured out about masturbation and could go into the room, all the anger you have at your mom, all the anger you have at your dad, put it all together, okay? And from minus 10 to positive 10, how bad is it now? Whoa, bloody hell. Uh, a minus eight. <laughs> Can you make it a minus 10? Yeah. What do you need to do to make it a minus 10? I just need to think about it and it gets angry. I get angry. Okay. Really angry. That's been coming up for me a little bit as well recently, a bit of anger, which is probably, I'm not sure it's a good thing. Anger against <laughs> Just anger, like, you know, I never want to be in this situation again, and I never want to let this happen to me, and, you know, um, how have I got myself in this situation at the moment, you know, with my health and how I am, and, yeah. Okay. Feel it all? Put it all on this big shelf that's in front of you. Push the shelf to your past. Which side is your past? Anything about your timeline? My left. Okay, so push it all to the left. Your left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go to your good place, playing football with your friends after school, going driving with your uncle in the car, playing football in that place when you were like 12, 13 years old that your dad might even come me one of those times. Can you feel those places? Yeah. Okay, and as you feel it, notice there's a place in your body that the feeling begins. Point to it. Where the feeling begins. Mm -hmm. The good feeling we're talking about. I'm like that. Okay. Notice that this is a good feeling, right? Notice there's a color attached. What's the color? Um, red. I want you to take that red color and I want you to breathe it in. And as you breathe it in, let it permeate throughout your whole entire body. And as it permeates throughout your whole entire body, feel how it pushes out anything less than positive. And as it pushes out that less than positive, feel that less than positive coming out with your breath when you breathe out. And keep breathing in and out and in and out until all the air coming out is just as red as they are going in. Mm -hmm. Now let that red color continue to grow in your body, start spinning faster and faster, stronger and stronger, till it starts to overflow out from the top of your head and comes out like a fountain creating this force field-like structure, red structure, all around you. And when you feel that force field, when you know it's in place, just put your hands out to touch it to make sure it's there. Okay, and the more physically you do it, the more you're gonna get out of it. So physically put your hands out. The both of them? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I'm doing it from the phone, so... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And now imagine a control board in front of you. And on this control board, you have many different knobs and dials. And look for the dial or the knob. Oh, you disappeared. There you are again. Okay. Look for the knob or the dial that oh, says on it. Like. Hmm? Yeah. It says on it self worth. So I had a cool call. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. You see the dot you see the control board in front of you? Uh, it's got dials on there, yeah. Right. Look for the dial that says self worth. 
And notice how that dial goes from a zero to a 10, where zero is down in the dumps, and is up in the sky. Yeah. Okay. And I want you to notice where on that dial your self-worth lies. Um, 10 being high and zero being low. Mm-hmm. Two. Protect your hand and touch it. Notice how you feel someplace right. inside. Reach out your hand and touch the dial. Notice that as you okay. touch it, you have a feeling inside of you. Point to where you feel it. Turn the dial up. And notice the shifts and changes that occur inside your body as you turn it up. What happens? Um. Feel some sort of energy. Good energy or bad energy? Nice energy. Nice energy, okay. Good energy. Good. Can you get up to a 10? Yeah. Okay, what happens to the feeling inside? It gets a lot stronger, it gets a lot more tense. Okay, in a good way. Feels good. Okay. Yeah. Now take a look at all those things that are there that was in your past on that shelf. What's what your number is now? Six, positive six. Okay, good. Okay. Start tapping. Now, before we start tapping, imagine a tree in front of you. What would happen to that tree if I stuck my hand in and I pulled it up by the roots? It'd be not there anymore. It would turn into beautiful butterflies, rimmed with golden rims that flutter away in freedom. Start tapping. Let go of all fears. Let go of all fears. Let go of all sadnesses. Let go of all sadnesses. Let go of all emotional traumas. Let go of all emotional traumas. Let go of the helplessness. Let go of the helplessness. Let go of the hopelessness. Let go of the hopelessness. Let go of the no control. Let go of the no control. Let go of the trapped feelings. Let go of the trapped feelings. Let go of the shame. Letting go of the shame. Letting go of the blame. Letting go of the blame. Letting go of the guilt. Letting go of the guilt. Letting go of the fears. Letting go of the fears. Letting go of the angers. Letting go of the angers. Letting go of the self-destructive behavior. Letting go of the self-destructive behavior. Letting go of the anger against mom. Letting go of the anger against mom. The anger against dad. Letting go of the anger against that. The anger against myself. The anger against myself. Letting go of the disgust. Letting go of the disgust. The worry. The worry. The rage. The rage. The venom. The venom. Letting it all go. Letting it all go. All memories of it. All memories of it. All recordings of it. All recordings of it. All images of it. All images of it. All feelings of it. All feelings of it. Letting it all go. Letting it all go. All the conflicts around it. All the conflicts around it. I needed to avoid. I needed to avoid. But I don't want to avoid. But I don't want to avoid. But I don't want to avoid. I have to face myself.
I don't want to. If I don't avoid, I'll have to face myself. If I don't avoid, I'll have to face myself. I don't want to face myself. I don't want to face myself. All the conflicts. All the conflicts. Let it go. Let it go. Safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to heal. Time to heal. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Touch your red force field. Feel the safety. Feel the love. And say peace. Peace. Okay, go back. Look at all those things. How does it feel now? It was a six, positive six beforehand. Five. So it went down, you're saying? Yeah. Okay, start tapping. Whatever made it go down. However I feel it. However I know Whatever it. it go down. Whatever it means. Whatever, I heal it. Whatever, Whatever it represents. It. Whatever it represents. All the sensations. All the sensations. All the colors. All the colors. All the images. All the images. All the conflicts. All the conflicts. Let it go. Let it go. Safe to let it go. Safe to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to heal. Time to heal. I don't need any more. I don't need any more. I thank you for all its hard work. I thank you for all its hard work. Trying to keep me safe. Trying to keep me safe. The only way that it knew how. But only way you knew how. But I have better tools now. But I have better tools now. I was able to keep us all safe. I was able to keep this all safe. It's safe to be safe. It's safer to be safe. It's safe to heal. It's safe to heal. It's safe to love myself. It's safe to love myself. It's safe to f love the future. It's safe to love the future. It's safe to look, good for look forward to the future. It's safe to look forward to the future. I let everything else go. I let everything else go. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist, breathe in, blow out, and say peace. Peace. Okay, go back. Look at all that stuff over there. What do you feel now? Um. Four. Four. Okay. What are you thinking about? I see all that stuff and it makes me angry that I kind of popped myself through it. I went through it. I seen it. I witnessed it. And it's like, wow, that, all that stuff has shaped me. And that's basically who I've become. I've become all of that stuff. It's, it's gone. I've kind of destroyed myself, tried to. And I've Start tapping all this anger. I've destroyed myself. All that stuff. I've destroyed myself. All that stuff. I've destroyed myself. How can I do it? How can I do it? Whatever it means. Whatever it means. It represents. Whatever it represents. I choose to let it go. I choose to let it go. Let it go. Time to let it go. Time to heal. And let's all heal. We're all safe. It's safe to be safe. Safe till now. I'm safe to let it go now. C is for the crack. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Feel the anger. You did that to yourself. You've destroyed yourself. Feel all that anger. What does it feel like now? Um, it's still four. Still four. Okay, I want you to go back to that little boy. See him in his room, all alone, 
Mom's in her room with her curtains closed, no one to be with. Dad's not home, dad's out working. See that little boy? What's his expression on his face? Uh, he's sad. Start tapping. He's sad. He's sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. We're all sad. We're all sad. All the sad. All sad. Let it go. Let it go. Safe to let it go. Safe to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to let it go. Time to heal. Time to heal. Let it go. Let it go. Grab your wrist, breathe in, blow out, touch the force field, and say peace. Peace. Go back, that little boy, how does he feel now? What's his expression? Um, he's smiling. Okay, what's he doing aside from smiling now? Jumping up and down. Is he happier? Yeah. Okay, I want you to go into his shoes and I want you to call first your mom into the seat opposite you. We've done this already last time, but you still have anger against her. So let's finish this off. Have that little boy tell his mom everything that she needed to hear but he couldn't tell her at that time because he was too little and he didn't know how. Mm. Okay. So he needs to tell his mom. Tell it directly. Don't say it third person as if you're there. Let it all out. Exactly how it is. Mom, I, I, um, I really hate you. I really hate you with so much passion and anger. It makes me see every time I think of your name and every time I picture you, I'm just, um, all blind and sad and, you know, being about all day and being, you know, being like that for years, but in and out of hospital, you know, really being a mom. Um, Never really been nurtured. Um, you know, seeing you take loads of medications, picking up your belief system. You know, I feel as I've got a lot of my health from you as well. And I've really hated you. Hated every part of you. And I wanted to be, I wanted to be far away from you as possible. You know, it's so negative at home that I didn't even want to be there. And I hate, and I just didn't like being at home. Um, Mm. Even looking at you right now it just makes me so angry. Makes me so angry. Uh, you know, I've done this to myself. And you was the one person that was in my life and you gave me that negativity, you gave me those belief systems, you gave me those people around my health, around family, around friends, around the world. You know. Um, I didn't have any life skills at all. I didn't have any at all. None whatsoever. And even now to this day I'm still struggling, so I'm still struggling in my life. I still don't have a clue what to do. You know, I still isolate, I still want to spend time on my room, on my own, like I was when I was 10. I still do those things. So now you're no longer here, and it feels like I'm left to pick up the pieces. And I, you know, where do I start? I still feel like a big kid. I still feel like a child. And I blame you. Blame all of you. Okay, mum, step into your mum's shoes. Two chefs answer back.
podcast and you know I've been around for a long time for many many years you know I, I did the best that I could with what I had um, you know I didn't really you know my mum my mum her health was great you know um, and all I could do is what I did you know and that's what I did with you on and my health wasn't great you know, you hate me, you know, you have a lot of anger towards me, but that's the best I could do at that time. I didn't know any other way. And I was in bed alone. I was in and out of hospital. I was in and out of seeing the doctors. You know, um, and I don't want you to become like me. Housebound, in bed. You know, I want you to break this. I want you to break this cycle. You know, I want you to break this cycle. I want you to become so young, so healthy. I want you to break all those patterns, all those behaviors, all those thoughts. I don't want you to do this to yourself anymore. I know you think you're on your own, but you're not. You're not on your own. You're not on your own, and I still love you, and I've always loved you. And you do this how you are. You're still my little boy. You're still my little baby. You have to answer back. I feel so scared. I feel so lost. Um, I feel like a big child. I feel like a big child. I feel I just don't know where to start. I don't know where to you know what to do. You know, I just wanna hold my hand and I wanna hold you and just wanna tell me it's gonna be alright. Yeah, I feel like a lost child. I feel like a lost child. I don't know where to turn. Mum, do you have to answer back? Pardon? What does mum have to answer back? Um, I've always loved you, Hassan. I've always loved you. I've always cared about you. I've not been able to always show it the way you wanted me to. Or give you that affection and love the way you wanted me to, like maybe other kids do. But that's the best that I could do for you at that time. That's the best that I could show you at the time. Is what I had. It's not great. But it's the best that I could do. Son, we have to answer back. I know I have a lot of anger. I have a lot of anger. Feel the anger. Okay. Now there's one thing I want you to do. Instead of repeating me, I want you to just quack like a duck. Okay? Pardon? Instead of repeating what I say, just quack like a duck. Okay. Okay? All that anger. All that anger. No, no. You say quack, quack, quack. Oh. Okay. okay, all that anger. Quack, quack, quack. All that anger. Quack, quack, Tap, quack. tap, 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 you're doing it. Oh, okay, and I say quack. Yeah, you say quack. You're talking in duck language. Huh. Whatever it means. Quack, quack, quack. Whatever it presents. Quack, quack, quack. All the conflicts around it. All the conflicts around it. No, you say quack, quack, quack. You're a duck, remember? You're talking duck quack, language. Quack. Just let it go. Mm-hmm. Safe to let it go. Quack, quack, quack. Time to let it go. Quack, quack, quack. Time to yield. Quack, quack, quack. Grab your wrist. Quack, quack, quack. Breathe in. Blow out. Feel the force field. And say peace. Peace. Okay, go back to the anger. 
How strong is it now? Ten being good yep. and zero being low. Mm -hmm. Um, five. Five. Okay. What I want you to do, hold on, I'm looking for a second. Look at that control board. See the anger dial. Reach out and touch it. And as you do, notice the feeling inside of you. Okay, 10's good, remember? Turn the dial up to a 10. Notice the shifts and changes that occur inside of you. Mm -hmm. What changes? I feel lighter, I feel a bit more happier. Okay, so look at your mom again. How do you feel now? Give her, I want to give her a really big hug. So go ahead and do it. Call her into your arms, open them wide, and as she comes, bring your arms around her, bring her right into your heart, right where she belongs. Got it? Yeah. Okay. No, bye. Don't forget, if you like this video, bye. leave a like down below, subscribe to my channel, or subscribe to my newsletter. The address is right down below over there. Have a great week.